Okay, if you assign things such as videos to your students, you want to be able to check and see if they have viewed them. There are times also when you just want to see, are your students logging into the material? How much time are they spending on their lessons? How much time are they spending on different things? And so uh, there is a way in Schoology so that you can check up on that. So what you do is go to your course, and after you get to your course, you notice down here on the left menu, there's the button for analytics. So you click the analytics button. It initially brings up this by course, and this shows you uh, just kind of an overview of the number of hits. This might be interesting for you, but there's not a lot of useful information here. If you click on the user tab, though, this is where you can break it down by user, by student. And this shows you for example, if we look at Mr. Lester, that's Robert, we see that uh, in this court, the last time he logged in to uh, Schoology was five weeks and six days ago. Uh, the last time that he accessed this particular course was also five weeks and six days ago, and he has spent an hour and 59 minutes and uh, 26 seconds in the course, and he has made four posts to the class. Okay, so that's helpful uh, because you can tell then, especially this last course access area here, you can see, okay, when did they actually look at the material? When did they log in? Uh, but let's say that you want to know more details about a particular student. If you click anywhere on this line with the student's name, I'm going to click on this one. Okay, this tells you all the assignments. Now, that's all that it deals with are assignments, either assignments or tests and quizzes or discussions. In this case, we're looking at assignments. Now, remember in the uh, session on uploading videos, I said that if you want to track students viewing the videos, you need to make it part of an assignment. Well, that's what I've done here. I've made this dummy assignment, which the dummy assignment was to watch a particular video. And what I see here is that this student accessed that video uh, at 3.51 p.m. Uh, on July 2nd and uh, finished it up at 3.56. He spent a total of 4 minutes and 57 seconds in that video. Well, that video happens to be over 6 minutes long, so I know that he has not watched the whole video just by looking at that material. If you click on the assignment name. It brings up something else here where you see, okay, this student uh, accessed it uh, 351, closed at 356, 457. Here's another time that he accessed it just very briefly and it didn't even record how long he was on it. But this way you could see, okay, well, I see on at this time he, he watched three minutes of the video and another time he watched two minutes of it, that type of thing. So you could break that down a bit more. But this helps you to see if the student has done what he's supposed to have done. You can also check uh, statistics by assignments. Uh, for example, here I can see that um, these particular assignments have been viewed no times. None of the teachers uh, have gotten to this point yet, so that's the issue there. Uh, there are some discussion items. And you see here that for the discussions, uh, we've had 11 posts to this discussion. If I click on it, I see who has posted. I see all the students in the class, and I can see who has posted things to that particular assignment, okay, or that discussion. So this is how you use the analytics. And like I say, this can be very helpful to you just to see if the students are doing what they're supposed to be doing in the course.